Hey everybody, my name is Kenner, and welcome back for another video of Horizon Forbidden West. Continue right where we last left off, boys. Uh, I'm obviously recording back to back to back. And right now, I feel like I've been having two pretty bad sessions of videos where I kept messing up my controls. Like, I'm doing alright, but, uh, like mentally, but physically, feel like I'm not there whatsoever physically, boys. I cannot play whatsoever. Hopefully this is gonna get better. Hopefully I've warmed up a bit and I'm gonna be better at this game. But uh, can't hold uh, you, you don't hold your breath for that, boys, because I might still be really bad at it. Well, we'll have to find out though. It's probably gonna be a boss fight soon as well. What has the Festus done to her? Turned it into a weapon, which sooner or later will be unleashed. And then, plain song. My people see what it has become. If one of our gods attacks me, you know what you have to do. Well, are you ready? We're gonna have to fight that one. I knew it, boys. This is gonna be a boss fight. So, wrap all down. Let's do it. Time for the boss fight, boys. Game all the way down there for that. Alright, let's find out really quick. Uh, we're gonna about to activate this, which is... Uh, it's gonna start a big time thingy. A big time action. Alright, here we go. There it is, boys. Uh, how many arrows do I have? I only have poison arrows. Alright, well... Here's not here goes nothing boys. Here goes nothing. All right, here we go. The poison uh, over time Get him in the, the front of his eyes. Watch out now. All right, let's go. Just gonna keep attacking him like that What the fuck is going on? I'm stuck. Okay. No, you don't All right, here we go. There's more enemies. We gotta fight as well. Each, uh, let me find out Oh, this is gonna be a hard one this is going to be a little, a little bit of a harder one, boys. Boom. All right, there we go. Just get the, uh, that monster right here. Did the, the, the beast, the, the boss fight to shoot fire? He's got breath fire. This Is he a dragon or something, boys? Gotta fight these little goons real quick. Oh, shit. Where's my support at? Need my support, boys. We need the tank and the heal, really. Because I'm the damage right now. Or uh, it looks like I'm playing the tank more than anything else, really. All right, go, go, go. Keep attacking that one. Got it. That was easy enough. Looks like I, I got, uh, I destroyed it, boys. Pretty easy, actually. All I needed to do is shoot his back two times. Wait, where are you touching? It's full of fire. How is she not burning alive, boys? I do not grieve for a god or a machine. Or because I no longer know what to believe. Look, so if you want, you can go back home. Do I still have one? And if so, for how long? Can you really heal our lands? Save my people? One step at a time. bad up we go but there's more like Aloy said 
This is only the beginning. Well, all right. So that is completed. Uh, override the cauldron. Override it, boys. That looked like it was painful the first time around. He's resisting hardcore, he really is. All right, here we go. So that has been uh, overridden. Corrupted override unlock, plow horn, brittle, uh, bristle backs. So bristle backs, I can get those now. So I can get all these bees, but for some reason when I get close to them, it didn't seem to work before. Maybe this time it will work. Maybe if I do it properly. Uh, I've got three squirrel points from that, leveled up to level 14 as well. Uh, that doesn't sound good. Is that the spear, Minerva? I, I don't think so. At least, not directly. How many stairs does this place have? God damn, boys, more stairs! Alright then. Alright, let's go in. Open the door. Let's find out what's behind that. Are we gonna find what we need? Hopefully we will. Okay. There's a door here, obviously. Let's open the door up. What's going on? the emergency lights work. Well, that's not good. What just happened? Complete lockdown. That's great. And I think it's trying to keep us out. I'll scout ahead. See if there's a way to get us in. You sure we shouldn't come with you? Well, yeah, Minerva could be dangerous. Let me make sure it's safe. Okay. We'll be right here if you need us. All right then. Let's pry open the door. We'll go in on our uh, by ourselves, I guess. How do I go up? There's got to be a way for me to jump up. This is. Oh, there it is. I f I found it, boys. I found it. Uh, jump. Come on, you, can, you come on, you make you can make that jump. Don't worry about it. I see it right there. What what the fuck are you doing? Jump. All right, there we go. Finally. Don't know why she didn't want to jump before. But uh, all right, so we're jumping up, boys. Getting our own little uh, path up. Oh, okay. Hold on. No, no. I, I'm supposed to go up uh, right there. Keep jumping. All right, there we go. All right, we're gonna be fine. Uh, I am going to equip my skill points in a minute. I just want to make sure that um, I get to my loca the location first. Okay. Let's move up. It's so reddish safe. right now. A lot of... Uh, the override really made that color scheme uh, appear out of nowhere. Okay. You are not wanted here. Yeah, I'm wanted. I don't care if I'm wanted or not. Oh, I'm going to go whatever I want, my girl. Okay. Uh, what about this? So supply chest, which is fantastic. Uh, doesn't mean I can uh, I can't craft anything anyways though, so it doesn't change much. But uh, still, oh there we go. Let me uh, drop that, boys. Get rid of that really quick, so we can go into the ventilation system. And also, uh, let's just go ahead and do our thing already. We got three skill points, which means uh, warrior thingy, you know, machine master. Let's do that. Uh, heavy lifter. Propelled spikes of pike throw launcher powerful range uh, strike explode on impact Don't care about that Elemental let me just get that. Let me just get that one. There we go And now we only have one point left which means we're going to equip it for the health low health defense gonna do that All right, here we go. Perfect boys. Now. Let's go inside Let's go inside boys. All right Follow the ventilation system. I'm pretty sure there's a chest right here. Good. Get some more resources while we're at it. Dead end. Dead end? What do you mean dead end? Okay, so it, I wasn't supposed to be here. That was just for a chest, okay? So that was uh, basically leading me nowhere. Maybe this one's going to lead me to the right area. Let's find out. Yes, alright, so that was the right one. Okay, there we go. Let's just jump, boys. We're going in. I got a, I got a, uh, I got an idea. I got a jump right here. Got it. Who those strangers in the proving lab were? Why did they have a clone of Elizabeth? Why did they want a backup? I don't know why they wanted a backup. We'll find out eventually. I'm guessing. Uh, it is kind of intriguing for sure. The fact that they wanted a backup, <gasps> they needed one, right? Very interesting. That's for sure. Uh, let's. Uh, can we not go up? Come on, jump up. All right, here we go. 
All right, so we're here. Yeah, find out really quick. How am I gonna make it to there? I'm gonna have to glide, aren't I? Yeah, I'm gonna have to do the um the shield wing and stuff, boys. All right, perfect. And uh, actually saved me some time uh by going upper instead of dropping down all the way uh, all the way through, boys. So definitely uh saved me some time, which is good. Next up, we're going right here. Some Let's go, just like that. Pipes up there. Might lead me to a way back in. But how to reach them? Okay, so there we go. I was about to say there's got to be a way, right? Uh, where somewhere to go, and I didn't even see. I just saw pry open, and I did it, and it opened the path for me. So, would you look at that, boys? Easy enough. Okay. Okay. Now I've got to find a way to plug into this place. There is some crates right here that I could possibly get, but okay, there we go. Just gotta get uh, uh, below the stairs really quick. Well, let me get anything that's valuable. I'm gonna get it for sure. Some kind of dome. Can I go up? Yeah, I can. I Good. So let's keep uh, going up. Uh, we just gotta uh, search uh, Minerva. Hopefully, we'll find her. Are, are we about to have another, another boss fight? Please, please no. I, that's the last thing I, w I would need right now. It's another boss fight against one of those impossible uh, uh, guys or whatever gods, whatever you want to call them. Minerva, I need the console. Please. Access denied. It didn't used to be like this. Do you remember it? Anything? You were part of something bigger once. Something good. Gaia. That's right. She can live again. But only if you give her the chance. I can't reboot her without you. Eli, cease. I think you'll disappear into her. Become part of her, like you used to be. Does it cease? Yes. Well, all right. Wasn't too hard to convince her, I guess. Thank you, Minerva. Elizabeth Sobek. Alpha Prime. Master override activated. Restoring Minerva function to original code. This is way too easy, boys. Something tells me that it's not gonna go. It's not gonna go the right way. It's way. It, everything's working way too perfectly for me right now. Doesn't sound right whatsoever. It's not normal that it goes. It's going. Everything's going right right now. So it is Aloy, not Elizabeth. We have much to discuss, but initialization of my heuristic matrix will not be complete for several minutes more. In the meantime, I suggest you familiarize yourself with this facility. It is our best option for a base of operations, and you can make use of its equipment to improve your ability to override machines. Um, uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, that, that sounds good. Shall I grant access to your companions? They will be here shortly. Um, okay, but don't overwhelm them, okay? 
They don't have a lot of experience with things like... Well... You. Uh... So no fake this time? No. This time she's real. Well, so... This is Gaia. Hello. Hi. Hi. Gaia's still, uh, waking up. Let's look around. I will highlight the location of the lab on your focus. Establish the network between your focuses, allowing you to communicate when apart. Good. Okay, good. So the she's basically a Jarvis now. Nice. Let's find out, boys. Let me find out. So this is going to be our base of operations, it seems like. What's all this? This was intended. Yeah, look at this place. This is a big ass base. This is going to be a big uh, place of operations. There's going to be lots of people here, probably. All right, let me find out. All right, so this, what is this place? Some of the machine data you recovered from the repair bay below us appears to be corrupted. Accessing the terminal in this room will show you how to repair and complete the override. Oh, can you repair those stuff? Okay. Use the fabrication terminal. Let me find out. What is that? Fangorn override. Okay. I need, uh, uh, I need stuff for these two though. But I think that's how I am able to actually upgrade. So that's how I can unlock the overrated system. So crappers and uh, with, um, uh, let me just do this one. There we go. And uh, craft the override. Good. So in order to craft the other ones, I need to find yeah, out how to do that properly, I guess. So that's really cool. Overrides. That's really nice. Now I can override them. That's so how it works. Okay. My initialization is complete. You may continue to explore the facility, Aloy. When you are ready, return to the control room. We have much to discuss. All right. Looks like an office. Looks like an office. Nothing to it right this here. What is this? Access point for advanced training modules on terraforming operations. Training module? Modules were deleted when the Apollo database was destroyed. That's too bad. Yeah, that's a shame. If I could literally, do, like, it would have been a hyperbolic time chamber. That would be great, boys, or Cerebro or something. That would be awesome. What, what is this place right here? Lockers? This would have been the sleeping quarters. Sleeping quarters, okay, got you. Remind okay, so we got sleeping quarters. Sleep what do we need all these people. things for, though? Let's Another office, office, okay. So there's a bunch of offices, a bunch of stuff like that. Built all this. There's the exit, okay. Alright, so I like the place. It's a nice place. But uh, aside from the one place, like aside from the one area where I can literally build like overridden stuff. I don't see anything else that's really that interesting. So yeah. Guess there's not much else to this place yet. Okay. Alright, I'll talk to Gaia. I guess there's nothing really else to do, right? So, I mean, I've pretty much looked around. Even though it said it was optional. I already explored much of the base. There's not much more to explore unless like there's an actual uh, basement and stuff. Uh, which is probably the case, but I don't really care too much right now. So let's just talk to her. Hello, Aloy. Uh, hi. So you're ready? Yes. Initialization is complete. All tests show that my heuristic matrix launched correctly and is stable. You must have many questions. Yeah, but two big ones first. Subordinate functions first. We're not going to be able to fix the biosphere without making you whole. I ran a search for your subfunctions at the Hades Proving Lab, but whatever was the only one I found. Thankfully. The sensory capabilities of this facility are far more advanced. I will search for the others now. Nice. So she's going to give me the locations for those uh, 
for those see. things, so that's nice. Of Apollo, Artemis, and Luthia, I can find no trace. They are simply gone. Gone for good. What about the others? That's not good. Ether, Demeter, and Poseidon are revealed. They lie within reach. Procurable. So there's three of those that I can get. And they're all gods, Greek gods. That's interesting. So there's this combo of all those gods. But it is not like the others. That's for sure. In the years since the extinction signal, Hephaestus has evolved. Moreover, it is not confined to a single location. It haunts the global network that connects cauldrons to each other across the planet. Making it exceptionally difficult to subdue. Let me guess. We need it bad? Correct. Its capabilities are essential. Without it, I can only delay the extinction of life on Earth. Hephaestus is our only hope of a permanent solution. So we start there? Unfortunately, we cannot. What do you mean? Curing Hephaestus can only be attempted after my own capabilities have been significantly enhanced. Grab the other subordinate functions first, then Hephaestus. Precisely so. All right, seems simple so enough then. Ether, Demeter, and Poseidon. How do I capture them? To recover a subordinate function, you will have to travel to its location and find the physical processor to which it escaped. Then, exactly as you did with Minerva, you must use the master override to revert the subordinate function to its original code state. And then how do I get it back here? The subordinate function must be loaded onto a data storage device and physically carried back to this facility. The cartridge your root kernel was stored on? Yes. Its capacity is limited. So it can only carry one subordinate function at a time. But in all other respects, it will suffice. So basically I can only get one subordinate function at a time. Uh, once I get one, I got to bring it back here. And uh, uh, since fourth and fourth, I guess I can't get multiple ones at a, uh, at a time, boys. So... We gotta, we gotta do one at a time, which is fine by me, fine by me, as long as we, it's easy enough to find them, and not too difficult with puzzles and stuff. So what about the strangers? Maybe you can help me make sense of something. A while ago, I had a run-in with a group of strangers who tried to kill me. They had machine servitors, and a, um, uh, a clone of Elizabeth Sobeck with them. Yes, this was recorded by your focus. Do you know who Do they you are? Know who they are? Yeah, exactly. The answer to that question is related to the extinction signal that woke Hades, prompting my predecessor's self-destruction. The extinction signal? Okay, that sounds ominous. The signal did not come from Earth, Aloy. Another planet? Are complicated, but it appears to have originated 81 trillion kilometers away. A distance so vast that light itself requires 8.611 years to cross it. Okay, so. What's so far away, and, and why does it want us dead? The Sirius star system. Sirius? But that's where Far Zenith, their ship... The Odyssey. Yes, that's where it was headed. But it blew up. Unless... I don't... Why make it seem like they failed? I didn't want anyone to know. 
They didn't want future humans to think that they were out there. Wait. The strangers who tried to kill me at the Hades Proving Lab? The ones with the clone? Are you saying that they're from... That they're descendants of... Far Zenith? Yes. That is my conclusion. Alright, so it looks like uh, we've got... Uh, ourselves some descendants from Far Zenith. So there are some people still alive. You're gonna have to. Uh, I'm gonna have to apologize in advance because my dog is, of course, like always, doing his thing. Uh, but uh, let me find out questions about subordinate functions. I don't really have questions about that. Questions about the Zeniths. I do have questions about the Zeniths though because. Now that we know they're f they're from far zeniths, how are they that powerful? Did they advance that far in technology that they are way too powerful for us now? How is that possible? Uh, the clone, the far zenith descendant plan, the Signole and the other subordinates, far zenith technology. Yeah, what about that technology? So if the descendants came to Earth on a spaceship, I guess we can assume that their technology is powerful in all sorts of ways, right? Yes, as your encounter with them at the Proving Lab amply demonstrates, they appear to make extensive use of robotic servitors. Further, they seem to be equipped with some kind of protective energy field that shields them from harm. Yeah, no kidding. The one I fought seemed indestructible. Throughout history, every defensive technology has eventually been defeated by an offensive counterpart. Perhaps a way can be found to defeat their shielding. Well, if, I, if you yeah, find a way, let me I know. So. Or I'm not going to be winning fights against them anytime soon. All right, so the signal and other subordinate factions don't care. How did you track the signal? The far Zenith plan? Uh, what, what, what is their plan exactly? I'm really intri intrigued by them. The sole purpose of the signal was to destroy life on Earth, right? Why would descendants of Far Zenith want to do that? At this point, we can only speculate. I mean, Earth posed no threat to them. We don't have the technology to get in their way. We didn't even know about them. True. Unless... Well... Could it be that they want the planet for themselves? And the strangers I ran into, they were after a Gaia backup of their own. I mean, if they did that... If they booted their own Gaia and boosted her power... Until she could take control of Hephaestus. And then the whole terraforming system. Then yes, the system could be used to do what the extinction signal failed to accomplish. Snuff out life. And then potentially to build an entirely new biosphere. To their specifications. So they could be trying to do the same thing we are. But with opposite results. Extinction. Instead of salvation. This is not good whatsoever, boys. They want to... Uh, I don't like their plan. How did they get here? Well, I can imagine they've got some big time technology. So the clone though, they have another clone of me. Well, another clone of Elizabeth. So I'm not the only one, I guess. The descendants I ran into at the Hades Proving Lab, they... They had a clone of Elizabeth Sobek. So that's consistent with the idea that they came here to salvage Zero Dawn technologies, right? Yes. As your own experience demonstrates, a clone of Elizabeth Sobek functions in effect as a key to the terraforming system. But how could they have made a clone? The Odyssey carried approximately 200,000 human zygotes, millions of animal zygotes, and billions of plant seeds. It is conceivable that Elizabeth Sobek's genetic material was sampled, with or without her knowledge, and carried aboard the ship in storage. That's... okay, but... I mean... This, this clone... How could she participate in this? Destroying Elizabeth's dream? It's... it's evil. It is difficult to know. Perhaps she is loyal to the group and shares their objectives. Or perhaps she is a subordinate and has no choice but to comply with their orders. Elizabeth Sobek, a subordinate? 
I don't think so. Well, I think so. I prefer to think that. I think she doesn't have a choice. So she probably doesn't even know who she comes from. To be honest, they probably don't didn't even tell her. It wouldn't surprise me if she didn't even know who she was. So uh, I guess we're gonna head back. Christian's about subordinate the biosphere. I don't have any more questions. I'm good. I guess I should get going and start bringing back subordinate functions. Yes. Once we have them, we can focus on the reacquisition of Hephaestus. When that is achieved, I will have complete control of the Zero Dawn system and the ability to produce as many machines as needed to defeat the far zenith threat. An army of machines. Sounds like a plan. So, the three procurable subfunctions. What can you tell me about their locations? When my predecessor destroyed herself, the subordinate functions sought physical processors capable of holding them. So in each case, you will be looking for a powerful computer of some kind. Ether is the closest, and therefore might be the easiest to acquire. However, it appears to be in the middle of Tanakh territory. That's not a problem. I can deal with them, no problem. But they seem to have a significant inclination towards violence. Well, that's a nice way to put it. What about Poseidon and Demeter? Poseidon has taken shelter in the desert south of this location. My substratal geography data indicates that a major old world settlement called Las Vegas was located there. He's in Las We're Vegas? In okay. Desert, huh? Strange That's an interesting place for him to, uh, to hide at. As for Demeter, it appears to be located on the coast to the far west. Unfortunately, I am unable to provide any relevant data about the region. As such, it may be the most difficult to retrieve. Okay, so three subordinate functions to go after. Aether, somewhere in Tanakh's territory, Poseidon in the desert, and Demeter on the coast. Where will you begin? Well, either level seven. What? Holy shit, boys. These are high, high levels. I'm level 14. Uh, level 15. Let's start with the bigger one first. Let's start with the meter first. Uh, hardest one first and then this, uh, the, the, the most, the, like, we're gonna do the meter, then Poseidon, then Eater. Like, when we're gonna do Eater, we're gonna find it's gonna be way too easy. Let's do the meter first. I think I'll try for Demeter. Very well. Demeter will now appear as the objective on your focus. Acquiring it might allow me to reduce rampant plant growth on a local level. Though I will require Hephaestus and the control over machines that it offers to permanently stabilize the biosphere. Should you change your mind, you can update your objective via your focus interface at any time. I will also transmit a summary of available data on all of the subordinate functions to you for reference. Is there anything else I can help you with? I know you have a great deal to accomplish. Now actually I'm good. I'm good to go. Way. Is something wrong? Um I don't know. It's just that Elizabeth set the bar pretty high. She had a dream for you, for life on Earth, and a lot has gone wrong, and it's all on my shoulders to fix it. Do you think I can do it all? Repair the system? Defeat Varzenith? Live up to her example? Absolutely. In her last message, my predecessor declared her unwavering conviction in your success. In you, all things are possible. You prevailed in purging Hades and rebooting my system core. You will prevail in this. Thank you, Kaya. Well, I, uh, I guess I should get going. I have unlocked the facility's exits. One leads onward to the west. The other leads back down the mountain to Plainsong, should you wish to return east. Well? Whoa! Gonna have to get used to that. That's you, Aloy? Uh, yeah. Gaia's opened the exits to this place. Can you and Zoe meet me by the west door? Be right there. 
All right, boys, I think it's time. Time to do some free roam, finally some uh, side quests. So this is where I'm going to be able to put uh, right there the, uh, I I'm guessing the uh, the objectives, the uh, subordinate functions. All right, so I'm going to do all that on my own free time. There's two exits. I want to go to the east door, of course. I've got plenty of side quests to do. Uh, lots of side quests still to do, so... I'm going to do that in uh, my own free time. Until then, boys, I'll see you guys for the next video. Remember to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this one. Keep it easy.